Welcome to Cartoonist Kayfabe. My name is Ed Piscor. I'm Jim Rugg. The videos that we make are brought to you by the comics that we make. So, buy our comics. Red Room, the anti-social network. Red Room trigger warnings. Murder on the dark web for fun and profit is the name of the game. These are the comics that I have out on the racks uh, right now. Uh, each book contains four complete horror stories and about 70 pages of extra material you're not going to find anywhere else. On the racks now, Jimmy has Hulk Grand Design, Monster and Madness. Uh, in issue format, telling the complete story of the Incredible Hulk. It's going to be getting that Treasury Edition format in early 2023, so put a pre-order in for that. And Street Angel Deadliest Girl Alive, trade paperback, is back in stores as we speak. It's got a new print run, eight complete Street Angel stories. Uh, all the image Street Angel comics are inside these covers, and you have no excuse not to have it on your shelves. Buy our books, keep the channel rocking. Today, Jimmy, we're going to look at some Bat Dojinshi by Patrick Keck, Josh Simmons. We looked at uh, Twilight of the Bat on the channel uh, some time back. Did real well for the channel. And uh, Josh Simmons hits us up, has a complete collection of all his Bat stories. I think maybe Show and Tell 5 was a piece we did on bootleg comics. We had our men... Uh, Slim and Iceman, I think, That's right, were, yes. were, were the guys Special guest host. who were the hosts of that, <laughs> making everybody aware that uh, no money exchange hands on any of that stuff, man. But uh, I think we might have shown the original Batman comic that Josh Simmons did, which I feel like came out around when we first started kicking it, early 2000s. Yeah, it's been I, a while. I mean, f flip that thing up on its side. Like, this is a substantial collection of comics here, you know, 100, 150 pages or so. An unbelievable package, Absolutely. a beautiful book. It's hard to believe this thing exists, but Simmons, great cartoonist. Absolutely. So for a great cartoonist to turn his attention this direction, one of the best Batman comics ever made? Sure. Comfortable with that because they, they talk about that Frank Miller shit as like revisionist superhero, superhero dissection, whatever. Like, he's taking it further. This is psychological breakdown of Batman's yeah. entire thing and maybe the entire superhero mythology. We uh, talk about Dojinchi and realize that it does exist in America. You know, it does exist, sure. And and then we started getting some. That's right. Ryan Alves with that Batman Nightfall joint, uh, various Turtles bootlegs, various Batman bootlegs. Keep them coming, and the best ones we're showing off, no doubt. I saw a really cool Spider-Man one by uh, by K. Faber recently, so hopefully those will show up in the P.O. box soon. And remember, guys, the big marching order that uh, we're looking uh, for you guys to blow our minds off and knock our socks off, dude, is do something real with the death of Superman. Yeah, kill Superman and make it feel good. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> man. And that does have possibility, because there should be collateral damage, probably, with something like that. Jim, you ready to get into this a little bit? Yeah, it's really interesting that this is an official publication, right? Like, we don't actually see the word Batman in here anywhere. No. It's, it's the bat, so I guess you can get away with that. And uh, printed out of France, the publisher on this one. And just a really interesting uh, look at this mythology. Totally. Now, Thanks to the end papers, really, really handsomely designed. I mean, you see the goddamn foil slip case that feels real tactile. And it's just like, they put so many bells and whistles into this bitch to make it a boutique item. It's a very nice book. And in Japan, there would be some doujinshi like that. Like, there's whole, like, print factories that that are just for doujinshi. And you will get nice hardback ones. Like, this is this is probably as high-end as you'll ever get. With with something like this, <laughs> it's the like, you know. The I like that the stars are sort of like <laughs> he's coming on himself, right? <laughs> you know, a big part of uh, superhero subtext is uh, gay sex. Yeah, absolutely. So Patrick Keck, a quick word on him. He does finishing art on two of the four stories in here. I believe Simmons does layouts, writing, and then the finishing on the other two stories. I see. I was curious about that division yeah, I was of labor. Too. Here are your various stories uh, in here. I believe it's Twilight of the Bat is the one that we did a video on in the past. 
And uh, we can't even show you stuff in the back, man. When Victor Cairo goes ham, <laughs> we can't let you see that on this channel, man. You got you to buy the book. Yeah, we'll get in trouble for some of this stuff. This is a bit of a preview, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Mark of the Bad. This is the, this is the classic. I remember seeing this up online. Uh, and that was the opportunity that was available at the time. Like, knowing that you can't be selling this kind of shit. Uh, the character's probably not called the Bat back when that was uh that first joint was was put together got our dude up on a rooftop man it's a um it's a soupy sky a lot of uh industrialization in the town of gotham here you can barely see the moon <laughs> through all of that uh and you know what you could tell that this is like that early period uh josh simmons too because like our batman is like gets lost in the in the clouds and things man Connects to a uh, a building with those like black belt magazine. Ninja How many Claus. people ordered those things, my, man? My cousin Ed had, <laughs> had them shits, man. And I tried to use them, and I was a nimble, skinny little kid. Could not get up a tree. You, with them. you couldn't climb up a skyscraper with those things. Could not get up a tree. I, I hope he got his money back then. <laughs> I love when he goes to the top. Like they are above the clouds. Yes, that's so fun. The building is that big, dude. Look at these different textures for what is that? Wind, perhaps. Gets up there, almost like, uh, you know, his shrine, his happy place, and here comes the cat, is showing up here. You know, holy terror, that that Frank Miller joint. Like, he didn't innovate that shit. <laughs> Josh Simmons was there first. This feels like the mark of an alternative cartoonist. Doing sure. these little, almost like strips. Yeah. yeah. Little moments and, and exchanges. And this kind of manic mark making was, was certainly... Um, that was in the air at this at the time it came out to 2004, whenever that was, man. Anders Nielsen comes to mind. Has a questions. piece in here. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. This is something I think of with uh, Simmons and whenever I talk about him being a great cartoonist, he really puts it on the page. Yeah. You know, like it's pretty consistent in terms of art. Like if you pick up something furry trap or something like that, you're going to see that attention to detail there too. He does these little storytelling flourishes too, like where he's just, he's got Batman just uh, monologuing and you see, you know, plane enter cloud, exit cloud. <laughs> They're high up. And Catwoman... She's a little nervous about uh, where his head's been. Yeah. <laughs> He's going on about how he won't kill, so he needs an advantage. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, and he came up with a new tool that he can't wait to try out. And she's talking like, you know, I used to have a crush on you. You were se super sexy, but not so much anymore. She does her half gainer, poofs down through the clouds. Fun and, cartooning. Yeah, and he's up there still just... Uh... This is his refrain. I've been a bat for a long, long time. His obsession is being a bat, right? Yeah. Which is this superhero thing, this just obsessive nature of both making superhero comics and reading them. Yes. And the characters inside. Like, obsession is really the underlying piece of this whole book. Yeah, there are parts of this, too, where um, Simmons, he's calling out fans of superhero comics almost specifically. Absolutely. Heads back down himself into the into uh the the urban environment to uh test out his new cr crime solving tool yeah so he grabs a, a passed out junkie there on the ground <laughs> wakes him up the, yeah wakes him up so he can just beat the shit out of him <laughs> fucking slug and now he's got this new device that i think i saw this on an infomercial for chopping up salad yeah it's called a slap chop <laughs> that's right Puts a slap chop on a dude's face. And you know what? The slap chop was probably brand new. <laughs> Whenever Josh Simmons made this shit, it's probably very topical at the time. And uh, if you ever wondered what a slap chop does to a face, there you go right here. And Batman is like, he's like, you're such a pussy, dude. Is taunting the guy. Yeah. Using his own lips. Holding in front it of up his mouth. over his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it works. his tongue through there. It reads so well, right? It's so disgusting. <laughs> the whole time that guy's just screaming. So, cut to another day. Uh, you only have to hold the trophy to know that it's hollow on the inside. It didn't solve what uh, Batman needed uh, to, to, to feel nice. And let's talk obsession. Let's talk obsession of compulsiveness. You know, like, by, by looking at him do this, it implies that he made all of those little holes with his fingernails. Mm. <laughs> and here is, uh, here is the criminal element. 
and it's bringing him joy. He's smiling at the thought of a bunch of these rictus faced fucks uh, get, getting humiliated and and screwed up. And then do some body horror. That is the part that we all remember. The hints of things to come. Yeah, this is the part that you cannot forget. 2006, 2007. Oh, that's nice that, that uh, date's on there. Yeah. Twilight of the Bat is a video that we have done. No, we did not do this one. This is the one with Joker. Or Joke Man, as he's called. In this comic, G-City. Going through the wasteland because our Bat figure just... Uh, Picked up one of his arch villains, has to transport him back to uh, Gotham City Jail, Arkham Asylum, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I love the Batmobile. Yeah, it's a good Batmobile. Uh, they are traveling for quite some time because our Batman has a big fucking beard. Yes. And when you get the ha 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 ha's, we know who this bad guy is. I feel like this is um, Simmons reads uh, The Road. Yeah. And then <laughs> starts making this stuff. Yeah, absolutely, man. Look at the rigor on display, though. Four tiers of, of panels with incredible amount of marks in each panel. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's funny to do this for, you know, like a bootleg comic. I mean, I guess at this point he's got a system down for these and distro them and stuff. But it still is a lot of work he's putting on each page. That first one that he did was such a hit amongst, like, other pros. And so it's something that we always talked about. Uh all of this other stuff is like cherry on top comics. Like you never thought that you would get another one and he's made four or five and they're collected in a super beautiful book. I mean, you know, 2006 is the first one. It's 2022 right now, you know, these long time in the making. It's weird to think of it that way. It looks like that world is just covered in ash. Totally. Like this is just full on wasteland. I get the sense that the Joker is the cause of that. We get a lot of their relationship. Like, everything that uh, Alan Moore wanted to uh, communicate between the relationship between Joker and Batman is done far more successfully here in a lot of ways. And, and Moore admits that. He admits that uh, killing Joker was, was a trifle to him. No big deal. So, it's going to be quite some time to get uh, our, our bad guy back to Arkham Asylum. They're going to have to do some traveling. So, in order for Batman to get any sleep, you got to tie Joker yeah. up. Yeah. You cannot let him be. And when they wake up, there are oh two boy. cupcakes waiting for them. Yeah. How, how nice. And more than the cupcakes, it's a symbol that there's more life out there. Right. Somebody else is alive. And it's almost like the reverse of like trying to feed the stray cat and earn its trust. Yeah. The idea here is we just got to gotta be cool. And, and the person that brought us those cupcakes, they'll, they'll come out. They'll yeah. come out when they're ready. Yeah, they may be traumatized after the events of like, what the heck happened here, man? This is Neo Tokyo type shit. Uh, so continuing their travels. And this is the part about why the world's this way. And I know you had something to do with this joke, man. <laughs> right. This makes so much sense too, right? Like, like get both of these guys together with no one else around and really get them to explore... You know, there, there's psychology. <laughs> Batman bites his finger off. <laughs> and Joker loves it. Uses it as lipstick. And it's just showing it. Like, once you get there, it's like, you know, you know what's coming. Yeah, they have a really good back and forth. <laughs> Going G.G. Allen. Full G.G. Allen. Simmons is good at these uh, quiet moments. Do we get the, uh, is this a repeat now of the cupcakes? Uh, I think we're getting there because, because that has to send our, uh, Batman completely o over the bend, man. Uh, we got our dudes traveling, tie up the, tie up your Joker, go catch some Z's and you discover that the Joker can just get out of this shit. Yeah, absolutely. Is placing the cupcakes and then gets right back in the handcuffs and that sets, that sets Batman off. He's done. He is done. And, uh, of course, he goes crazy on on Joker. Yeah. With a tire iron to start with. You had blood coming out from the back of the head, hitting him in the back of the head with that tire iron. Giving him some of that Jason Todd treatment. Joker rips off his mask, which is kind of uh, kind of fun. He draws eye spectacles on him. Looks like one of the Aquabats. And now, this is, uh, this is you know, we, we saw Punisher the end. 
It's it's a uh, it's Batman the end. He's like, if we can just get them back inside, pushing the brains back inside <laughs> with the squish sound effects. It's so great. Go back one page. Yeah. It's so great, Batman. Like as he sort of comes to his sentences, like, why the cupcakes? Were you trying to crush me further? Were you genuinely trying to do something nice for me? Yeah. That's it's such a. It's a great moment. It's, it's a, good it's head a great moment as a writer, as a cartoonist. Like it's such a great moment looking at this character in in their relationship and then realizing it's too late. Like you've destroyed this guy who was just trying, <laughs> trying anything, trying to make the end of the world a little bit less uh, le- less awful. And it, you f- you lost your temper and killed him. Beat him to death. <laughs> your last companion. Birth of the Bat is the one that we did do a video on. Yeah, there's a there's a good video on this one. Um, Check it out. Man, it's twisted. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Death of the Bat. See, this is continuing the finishes by uh, by, by Keck. Yeah. So you can see, like, the, um, the story we just looked at, Keck finishes, this one Keck finishes, and you can see the line work a little bit different than the Josh Simmons stories. But this is like end of the world once again. And I don't know, mutants, you know, the, the people that are still alive. Yeah, the nuclear wasteland people that are still making it. And Batman is from the birth of the Bat Batman, like with the fingers cut off and tattoo bat sy- symbol on his chest. Yeah. But just a destroyed, you know, husk. Look at this little Boy Scout. You see a family of four. And then when uh, Batman shows up. Yeah, here it is. You, yeah. You see there are only three. There's our Boy Scout, and he shoots a fucking hole in, Absolutely. in the dude. He's screaming, I'm a bat. <laughs> That's it, the cutting promos on uh, the superhero genre, is it not? Absolutely. <laughs> Destroys our guy, like, scoops out the brains, mm-hmm. cooks them up, tosses the head, and now we get Fever Dream, Batman in Heaven, getting a... Uh, reacquainted with his his old sidekick uh getting philosophical yes and getting to question well what do you want to do with eternity now (laughs) right that life was a trial you know yep what did you learn and you can have whatever you want man go be with your parents live in utopia yeah it's too much for him (laughs) listen he all he wants is to be a bat Fun drawing here. Like oh, yeah. some some of this stuff, like we're going cosmic and everything. Yeah, man. Really wild inventive stuff, especially when you consider what the rest of the book has been. It's a really impressive book from from almost any angle. Uh, totally. Yeah, yeah. This is not this is not a trifle by Pat, Patrick Keck and, and and Josh Simmons. Like it's very earnest comic making uh, that fits right next to the any book in his Josh Simmons bibliography. I hope some superhero critics review this book right because it is it's an impressive piece in that regard too like put it on the shelf next to watchmen yeah sure look at this dude kaze shinobu this is batman going through every iteration of like fighting his you know his colorful rogues gallery and all the different kinds of batman incarnations how long does it take you to draw that ed that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, this is not a Xerox, uh, Photoshop repeated thing. It's it's out of control. Totally. It's and out again, of control. Is it obsession, gigantic? Right. Is Just it complete obsession? Is it the point oh five five rapidograph? Like, there's so many questions. Is it the most giant piece of paper? And again, stare at this page for a while, superhero critic, and tell me this is not a definitive work on the superhero genre. I think I feel like that's a self-portrait right here here let me get it on the screen i feel like that's josh josh right there i feel like i've ridden down the road with josh simmons shared rooms on the uh, on the tour circuit with him you gonna do it ever again i don't know this book scares me even more <laughs> <laughs> and there it is dude like there's the skull with the yeah. brain scooped out with or left. boris in the in the in the eyeball there yeah it's there with the cockroaches. See that this, this is a whole treatise on on uh, Batman. It's like he, he'll always be there. Yeah, it's mythology. It's it's religion. You know what's real fun is that Batman is going to be public domain s- sooner than later. That name and some of the things they're about. You don't you don't get Gotham City. You don't get Commissioner Gordon. But like, it's not too far from now that they 
might be able to call this character Batman. Maybe the second printing. Yes, maybe. I was going to say everybody's calling him Batman. <laughs> the only people that aren't are the lawyers. Yeah. Got the Bat Gallery. We're going to save this for you guys, man. Uh... Some of the stuff it has, it has the covers. Yeah, run run down, because it has pinups by people like Victor Cairo, and uh, you had mentioned Anders Nilsson does one, Tara Booth. Like, this thing is just far out. Yeah, and there is a two-pager in here, man, a, a Batman and Cat story from when, uh, when she had that sexy crush on him that... Uh, we can never <laughs> That's show. That's the part we can't show. <laughs> we, yeah, there's no way. We, and we can't show Victor Cairo drawing Batman doing a dick helicopter. That's how do you right. do that on one static piece of paper? He'll show you how to do it. <laughs> These dudes are wizards. Um, it's a cool, even like those back features though, it's covers and stuff. It's a lot of good, good stuff. I need to see the photo of our guys. <laughs> These are your culprits. <laughs> the dudes who ended up making this comic. I like to think that they were wearing these outfits while putting pen to paper. I hope so. And hopefully while they're touring this book. This is your uh, bibliography of uh, Josh Simmons' books that you could get your hands on. House, Jessica Farm, Black River. Black River came out whenever I was touring some uh, Hip Hop Family Tree. I got to mm -hmm. read like uh, one of the first copies of that thing. Man, that was fucking amazing. Color blocking with the purple on the edges. Man, I think Sammy Harkham designed that book. Yeah, I think you're right. That's a nice book. The um, House, I think, is the one where like each page, the panel borders, are ruled with a slightly bigger rapidograph. So it's this like really slow, almost imperceptible, just the, the edges closing in on you as you get deeper into that book. Great cartoonist. Super fun, man. Uh, put out the, by uh, the Mansion Press. Link in the description below to get to the Mansion Press, man, so you could scoop up your copy of uh, The Bat. And you better do it sooner than later because this is gone. This is gone. We're, we're selling this print run out, no, no doubt, man. One of the great greatest uh, bootleg doujinshi that we got uh, our hands on and the P.O. box is there in the description also for you to send yours man because I am having a ball looking at this shit man we looked at Turtles Dojinshi we looked at other ba uh, Bat bootleg comics and we looked at the Tim Vigil uh, Batman comic that he did that could never be published in a million years uh, th this is a great legacy man it'd be, and it'd be a nice mansion out of reach out to Tim Vigil maybe yeah, <laughs> a nice man. companion piece yeah yeah it's such a ball to see, uh, you know, the corporate comics, they have failed us time and time again. Uh, and it really is up to us to make the best Batman comics ever. Uh, let's see your Death of Superman comics. Uh, Eli Schwab, get the, get the dudes on the case. In about a year's time, I expect to see something in the, in the P.O. box. And there will be videos about it. Good to go, Jimmy? Yep. Okay, favors, like, follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the bell. We'll notify you when new vids are available. Jimmy? Tell the people what's out there, man. Hulk Grand Design, Monster Madness. Comic books are in comic book shops now. The oversized fluorescent green edition will be out in early 2023. Pre-order that thing now. You want to add it to your shelf. Street Angel, Deadly Squirrel Live. Back in print from Image. Eight complete stories in here. Action superhero comics for any aged reader. Perfect for Christmas this year. And join me on patreon.com slash jimrug where you can see a lot more of my work, including my latest PDF there, which is a collection of all of my freelance comic book covers. So... Join today. Red Room, the anti-social network. Red Room trigger warnings. Murder on the dark web for fun and profit is the name of the game in the Red Room comics. Each of these books contains four complete horror stories, uh, as well as about 70 pages of additional material that you won't be able to get anywhere else. And I'm serializing new Red Room comics uh, and more at my Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash edpiscor. Three bucks for the archive there. More than 300 pages worth of stuff. I uh, hit my link tree in the description below this video. You'll be able to get to all of those destinations and support the Cartoonist Kayfabe channel. Jimmy, what else do we have out there, man? Subscribe to the Cartoonist Kayfabe e-newsletter at the links below this video. You can also find Cartoonist Kayfabe t-shirts, merchandise, mugs, fanny packs, and more at our spread shop in the link below this video. Another great way to support the Cartoonist Kayfabe channel. Give them those marching orders, Jimmy. We'll be on our way. Make more comics.